Hey, so it's Chloe here to teach you about plate tectonics. So we have an orange here and let's pretend that this orange represents the earth and these little parts on it represents our plates and the, the part underneath it, the skin, is the, mat, mat, is the mantle underneath the earth and just like the earth, they all fit together and when you push on it, they go on top of each other, which is something that would be like a mountain or something. Or they go underneath each other, which would be create ocean trenches. And then pulling apart, they create little um, exit ways for magma to go in, go out of. So when you look at the structure of the Earth, and again, using the orange as an example, this right here would be considered the crust. And this fleshy part right here would be the mantle. And then when you get into this part right here, the white part, that would be considered the outer core. And then the very center right there would be considered the inner core. So with the Earth's crust, which we live on, there are two different types. There's the continental crust, which would be something like this, and the oceanic crust, which is something like this. The continental crust, the continental crust is a lot thicker and is about 10 to 70 kilometers. However, the oceanic crust is about 7 kilometers. And this type of crust is younger and dense. But the continental crust is buoyant, less dense, and mostly old. So, plate tectonics. If you look at a map of the world, you may start to realize that they sort of fit together. Like a puzzle of some sorts. Well, the Earth's crust is divided into 12 major plates, which are moved in various directions. The plates collide, pull apart, scrape against each other, and each motion causes different types of features on the Earth's crust. The word tectonic refers to the changes in the crust based on based because of the plate in, interaction. It is believed that the plate movements are caused by the underlying hot mantle in the convection cells. So there are three types of plate boundaries. There's divergent, convergent, and then transform. So, divergent boundaries. Like the name, it hints at the spreading of the ridges. And as, they, as the plates move apart, the magma fills up the gaps and creates new land. So with all convergent boundaries, there is one plate that will stay where, where it originates, while the other one goes below and sinks. So with continent-continent collisions, two continent plates collide with each other and creates mountains such as the European Alps and the Himalayans. With continent oceanic crust collisions, like before, they collide, except one of them is continental crust and oceanic crust. And the ocean oceanic crust most likely subducts underneath the continental crust because it's buoyancy. So with ocean-ocean plate collision, when two oceanic plates collide, one runs over the, the one, other which it causes it to sink into the mantle, forming a subduction zone. The subducting plate is bent downwards to form a very deep depression in the ocean floor, called a trench. The world's deepest part of the ocean are found along these trenches. Finally, transfer boundaries. Transfers, transfer boundaries occur when where plates slide past each other. And th this activity can cause earthquakes, which is why it's not uncommon to experience them if you live near a fault, such as the West Coast in California.